What's good, horror fam? It's your horror host, Dirty, and I'm here today to give you guys a little, show you guys a little flashback, show you guys an old episode. The reason why, I'm going to be gone for a little bit, you know, the whole Carolina Fear Fest, the road to Carolina Fear Fest, this is a part of it. <laughs> this is a part of it. And with this part of it, I'm bringing you on a road that I absolutely hated the movies of. Both of these movies, one way more than the other, which we'll get to. We will get to. Because, yes, I am kicking it off. Sterdo Vision, this is the reason why I talk about this movie so much. Once you watch this review, if you want to go watch the movie, go find it for yourself. Both of these movies, it's on you, especially one of these. But uh, let's, let me, uh, let me uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. Of course, you already know the one. The one. But there is another one that is tied to this, to this film. And it's funny because, yes, it's Blood Lake. Of course, it's Blood Lake. This is the worst shit I've ever seen in my life, as you guys know. But the first time I watched this movie was an accidental double feature. Shout out to the homie James, my co-host. We were going, you know, what's going on? What do you want to watch? Blah, 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 blah. Blood Lake came up somehow. Just going through Tubi, find the movie posters. Funny thing is, James found Blood Lake, right? I, on the other hand, watched the wrong movie. I watched this here, Blood Lake, Attack of the Lampreys. And it was horrible. And like we, we didn't divulge what happened in each movie we just kind of blah blah certain things here and there just to tell each other and we realized we watched both watch different movies so we're just like you know what let's just each watch the other one review them both and like it's one of those things i don't regret at all and the reason why i don't regret it is because blood lake this one here alone has become like a thing on horror research 30 if you guys know if you guys been watching ever since this episode here which once I'm done rambling on, I'm going to play it for you guys. Go through it. You know, you guys can watch it again. It's going to play right after all this shit. But yeah, so it was a double feature. And like I said, the Blood Lake over here, this one, Um, we talk about it a lot because of how bad it is. And it's like that level of like, do I really hate this movie that much? Or it made me, it, I mean, it made me go into negative ratings, like officially, officially going into negative ratings. I know me and Henry are on here. We said the whole negative 13 or whatever, but we never really locked it in. I never really locked it in as an official rating scale, but Blood Lake, it's negative 10 to a positive 10 because of this movie here. It made me officially change my rating scale because of this movie here. So I got to give it credit for that. It's brought up in conversations. And honestly, if you haven't seen it, um, watch at your own risk for both of these. I will also say, if you feel you've watched the worst horror movie ever, check this out first. That I will say. And I still want to own the rights to it. So get that to those people, please. At least the rights to this art. No, I want the rights to the movie. I want the rights to the movie. Why? Why not? Why not? Now, before we get into this episode, people, I got to show you guys something. Because I'm... I've, Sturdy finally did it. Sturdy finally did it. And I'm happy I did it. I'm proud that I did it. I did it because of you guys. I did it because of you guys. But now I have a shop. Yes, an online store. Some shirts. Some mugs. Some pint glasses. Some cool stuff. That's exciting. That's just I'm just happy about it. I hope you guys like it. I really hope you guys love it, honestly. And, you know, in the near future, just be prepared to see Sturdy wearing a lot of his own stuff like this, but some newer stuff. And I'm about to show you guys. Just, just give me a second. I'm just getting, I'm just pulling it up. I'm just pulling it up. I'm just pulling it up. Getting to it. And I'm bring it up for you guys. I'm bring up the shop this time. And here we go. Boom. Sturdy Shop of Horror. Official merch store of the Horror Research 30 channel. Fun designs for all horror lovers. Huge shout out 
to the homie McMahon Hatton over on the scene subs because he did help me build this up along with a lot of these designs he helped make create well he did he did make create and all that great stuff so huge shout out to him much love to him for helping me get this going great guy go check out the scene times by the way but let me just give you guys a little looky loo a little looky loo look at that see this keep it original get the horror sir sturdy logo and horror we trust logo hoodies yes and horror we trust and just the shirts, stickers, all kinds. Of, like I said, some cool stuff. And I do have more designs in the works, more designs that will be coming in down the line. Cannot wait to show you guys. And I'm just excited for this new journey. I'm excited for this. And what's more to come on Horror Research 30? And what's more to come with Sturdo Vision? And again, Sturdo Vision, listen. I love you guys. For those of you listen, though, I'm specifically talking to the ones that only watch Third Vision. That you're just up at midnight. I'm telling you, if you guys can just come on over on Thursdays, eight o'clock Eastern time for the lives as well, you're gonna have a great time. I promise. The movies might not be as weird and as strange and as crazy as what's usually discussed on Third Vision, but there's gonna be a good time. This movie's not one of them, but the review was. The review was a great fucking time. Just watch James rant. Watch James rant. But on that note, people, I'm going to shut the fuck up so you can hear me and James start talking about these two movies. I hope you have an amazing night. I hope to see you at CFF. Peace. Random funny horror chats and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this Jason's mask. Well, me and James are back again. <coughs> Excuse me. We're back again recording another. Well, this time was two movies and they're both called Blood Lake. And the funny thing about this is we had a mix up in communication about these movies. Yep. So I watched this one right here. No, this one. Fuck. Yeah, you, know you watched the Lamprey one. The one on, uh, with the yeah. kick with the... For that, one, that's false advertisement anyway. It is. It is. <laughs> that cover right there. Before we even get into the movie, that cover right there kind of draws you to the movie. Yeah, it does. This is an awesome cover right here. Oh, I did it. This one right here is the one I watched. Yep. This is the one that James watched. So, again, Blood Lake. They're both on Tubi. And, like, I get there, I'm watching it, and I'm just like, oh, shit. What the fuck am I watching? Like, this movie <laughs> sucks. And <laughs> it was just like... This one, see, this one right here had potential, though. Like, if they would have yeah. used this, I think it would have been ten times better. I agree. With that, eating my hand. Some like alien mutated bitch or something. Yeah, or just with yeah. the lamprey thing mixed somehow. Yeah. But they did not do that, and oh. it was just a fucking bad fucking movie. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the idea was for this. It wasn't, I don't care that it wasn't serious enough. I don't care about that at all because I love comedy horror. But this was just like, because it had some acting. Like, you see Christopher Lloyd's in here and um, uh, Shannon Doherty. Shannon Doherty. And there's a few other faces. Yeah. Like, um, other faces. I can't remember their names. I don't even damn, know. Yeah, I'm blinking too. But there's a couple, like, yeah, known famous guys, people. And just, oh, man, it was bad. Yeah, it was bad. And like, the, but the funny thing was, so, like I said, James and I, we were recording. Or no, sorry, we were watching these movies. And I was watching, again, I was watching this one. I posted it in my Facebook group and on my Facebook page. I was watching this movie. And James hit me up like 15 minutes into the movie. I was like, yo, you're watching the wrong one. Yep. <laughs> I was like, it's such a bad movie. I said on Facebook, I was like, oh, man, shit. I was like, you got the oh. wrong one. Uh, let's see. Let's see well, technically, that movie's called Blood Lake. They don't show it on the cover or on Tubi when you see it. Mm -hmm. I guess it's the Attack of the Lamprey or something like that. Ah, Blood Lake Attack of the Lamprey. See, and then you yeah. see, even in the freaking poster, you don't see Attack of the Lamprey. It's not down nope, at the bottom either. Nothing. Yeah, so it throws you off. Because that first one I seen this, I seen two of them. I was like, how can he steal someone else's freaking name of a movie? Can't you get sued for that shit? <laughs>
But anyway, you know, it happens. But. And then this one over here, this Blood Lake movie was oh, a slasher. Yeah, if you want to call it that. And like, it was supposed to, or not it was supposed to, sorry. This movie was recorded on one of those old VHS, which I know a lot of movies were. Let me finish. The family versions, though. The VHS cameras, the, you know, the family joints that you just get from home or that you get, you know, from the store, whatever. And you record family home, home videos, home family that, videos. That's what that's this That's exactly. Is. That's what it looked like. Like, and that, does, that part didn't bother me too much. The acting was horrible. The script was horrible. Like, just everything about this movie was bad. It was. And it was like, for example, I remember I touched you yesterday. I was like, uh, you know, I'm watching a scene where they're all in a boat skiing. This scene was no lie at about 15, 20 minutes. It was 15, 20 minutes. Just like it looked like home videos. You're waiting from the buster ass like you're watching home videos on TV. Exactly. And they're skiing. They got the stupid music in the background. By the way, whoever made this movie, it's original music. That's how sad this is. They made their own original music. I'm not going to hate. The music sounded like, you know, it could have been an old rock song on a radio. Yeah. I'm not going to hate on that, but I'm just saying, like, this movie was, like, from 1987, I believe it was made. Mm-hmm. I just expected more from it. You know, I mean, it you know, was, I'll say for both of them, the covers look fucking amazing behind me. Yeah. And I'll show you guys another picture before, you know, I'll put it like in the, either, either in the very beginning or the very end with me not sitting in front of him so you guys can really get a good glimpse of it, which if I put it in the beginning, you're going to hear me saying this and you're going to already see it. So whatever, <laughs> but no, but like the covers look so fucking cool. And another thing with this one here is the night scenes were so hard to see. It was, that was bad. Like, I know you and I both know, we all know that's because we're all horror fans that, um, with, you know, Friday the 13th, for example, it's a lot of dark scenes. Yep. But there's still enough lighting to where you could see what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's, it's nighttime, but you can see what's going on. Even, like, if it's deep in the woods, you can see what's going on. This movie, they're out by the lake. You don't really see shit. You barely see what's going on. You barely see any kills. And it just seemed rushed. Like, it, it came out in a time where slashers were like which they're my favorite genre so they're number one to me but it was, it was like slash was like the number one genre in the 80s and i feel like they were just trying to pick up on that like hey we got a movie idea we got a movie let's yep. do this and again they had a i feel like they had a decent idea they just did too fucking much they had, i said um what was the movie i watched the other day body bag i said the second story in body bags which did you get a chance to watch that yet oh I'll, i'm gonna check it out today actually all right was it the but, second story body bag? Anyways, you, it was, well, you said you didn't like the second one, really. No, no, sorry, not body bag. No, it was it was body bag. The second story I did not like, but not body bag. It was like prom night. Sim- no, don't get me wrong. Prom night is way fucking better than both of these movies combined. But this one here was like prom night in a sense of actually, you could say both of them really had too much fucking dialogue and not enough shit going on. Like not enough, actually too much unimportant shit. This one, what this one? Damn, this one was better. This yeah. one did have more things going on through it, and you did get to see the kills and all that good stuff. It had way it's, more action in the beginning. There was oh yeah attacks. Um, so it went through like different attacks. There was yeah. a fun. There was a funny one. The, attack was for <laughs> the cinema photography for this amazing the cinematography. Like the looking, the looks of the movie, the sound. It reminds me of sci-fi movies. From yeah, the Sci-Fi Channel. That's that's pretty much what this is. I was that, waiting for yeah. Tara Reid to pop out. Oh gosh! <laughs> I was like, "Fuck, this is sci-fi." <laughs> but Fucking Tara Reid. This one over here, though, this one was just like, again, like I said, they had a slasher idea. This this really looked like friends just recording on their video cameras, recording a slasher. It was. Wait, it was, it, I, respect, it was, I, I don't even count it as a slasher movie, though. It was like one kill that you barely seen. Like thirty five minutes go by, you see like someone looking in the window like, "Hey, you, what are you doing over there?" Talking mad shit like young kids do. Like they they could have chased them down and whooped his ass. They should have right then and there. Yeah, they're sitting there like, "Yeah, you better run." And there, was, like, there was like nothing explained or add nothing. anything with this one. Like I like how with um, like I'd rather them have. <laughs> it's it's so cliche. Hang on one second. It's so cliche because it's 
it's in so many horror movies, especially horror movies like by a lake, at a camp, in the woods, whatever, where yeah. you have like a myth or like a an urban legend or that you know that's yeah. around that story. But that would help this movie so much. Yeah, this is a fucking it's just a beach house. It it was weird because yeah, a, a lake house. I'm sorry, let me say house, that yeah. a lake house. Now you remember in the beginning when they first get to the lake house and they open the fridge and there's a bunch of food in the fridge and they're questioning yeah. it. Like, yeah. What the fuck is going on? How do you the, question food? He was fridge? like, the, the milk is good. She's like, yeah, that's the point. We haven't been here so long. It should be spoiled. Yeah, it was like, like a week or two old or some shit. And they then they like, threw it out. Motherfucker, <laughs> if it's good, you should have kept it. <laughs> yeah, they threw out all the food. And Yo, it made no sense. And after that part, nothing ever came about it. After oh, that part, nothing. I hate when movies will. I hate when movies spend so much time on like one little miscule thing in a movie, one little miscule scene, yep. and they don't explain it, they don't divulge on it or nothing. They just go like that scene, and then that was it. The boat yep. scene too, like they did go in the boat a couple times in the movie, but it was like. They spent so much fucking time. The one scene, like I said, like we said, they spent about 15, 20 minutes in the boat skiing and shit. And the only reason why they stopped skiing is this girl said she's seen a snake in the water and got scared. Yeah, and, and I didn't see the snake. That you was know? it. Like, you, what would have made that better? I mean, it would have been more like Jason. But if, say if the guy was doing something in the water and grabbed her leg or something. Yeah, exactly. Just something. Or that's, what I, that's what I thought happened in the beginning. They're like, oh, what's wrong? And they're like, oh, I see a snake. And they're like, oh, my God. And they're rushing to her like there's a fucking anaconda that's going to wrap around her and drown her or something. The funny thing was they didn't really rush, though, because they're telling her to swim to the boat as they're turning <laughs> the boat around and going. Like, <laughs> they're driving away from her. Swim. Come on. Hurry up. I'm, the, I'm The whole time I'm thinking, you motherfuckers are in a vehicle with a motor. Yeah. Motor your boat on ass over there. That's <laughs> over there. And just pick her up. And they they did have a lot of I can't remember the cheesy corny sexual innuendos and lines in this movie. They did have a lot. You weren't lying about that kid with the long hair. Yeah, the little kid. He was like the only one. Like if I didn't get the like even though the jokes are so cheesy and bad. Yeah. But if it wasn't just for that sense of humor, his little second you could tell it was like eighty sex jokes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. god, it was so cheesy. But that's the only part entertaining me. For one, in the beginning, I didn't know that was a boy or a girl. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna offend. No, I'm trying not to offend nobody. But yeah. just the body shape, like the structure of the kid's body, it looked like femaleish. Then it had a mullet. I didn't know if it was like a tomboy mm-hmm. girl. Then I found out he was with that one chick, and his little thing is like, "Oh, I'm gonna get her to get some tonight." And they're like, "Yeah, okay." Like the brother sitting there smoking weed every time. Then that, how many times that one dude goes, "No, nah, I get that shit away from me, man." I know. Like, we got your point. You don't do drugs. Move on. Hey, weed Jesus. is not a drug. Weed is a plant. A wow. Awesome plant. But I get what you're saying. And the funny thing, with that, too, like, when um, they, they're just getting there, they're loading the car, and the one kid's talking to his older brother. He's like, yeah, hey. like, you guys are going to let me drink tonight, right? He's like, yeah, yeah don't get too drunk. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, I... <sighs> I know it's the it, 80s, but shit. It was bad. Okay, for one, let me go to this cover real quick. I just noticed this. If you look really quick, does it look like a fat Freddy Krueger holding a pencil? It does. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like a knife. Matter honestly, fact, I'll, I won't even say a pencil. I'll say it looks like a fat Freddy Krueger. Fre- fat Freddy Krueger holding a highlighter. You know how the highlighter. There you go. Yeah, the, the shape. The, the, yeah. Yeah. A little bit. That's what it looks like. Or a highlighter. There you go. Highlight shit. That's what that looks like right there. Which is shit. Uh, the, I mean, the cover does look cool overall, but. No. You not should. really planning that out. And it's funny you say it because I was about to say that, say that a minute ago. It does look like that. And I'm just like, they could have done so much better with this. Even with the, I feel like even with the budget they had. Yeah. As far as like, I would look at it like, say it's, you know, it's that technology. It's all that back then. Have the kills closer to the camera. Because it'd be like agree. Far, off, far off in the distance. Have the majority of the kills maybe during the day or dusk where it's, where it's not pitch black before it's pitch black out you yep. know is it dusk or dawn whatever the case is before it's pitch black and have it in like a well-lit area but still at night to kind of get the scare factor from it even if you have the guy coming from nowhere and slitting their throats or something yeah do simple, and do where simple it's stuff. where it's like dark enough where it's getting dark where they're ending their fun day and like you can still go outside to go sit in a fucking 
Yeah, go see you know, the dock or whatever. Uh, go fishing. Yes, on the dock around that time of day. I agree. For one, why they could have? I don't care what your budget is. You can't fucking afford a little better fucking weapon. I would rather have him have a hammer. Yeah. Then a little fucking pocket knife, yo. He had like a hunter's pocket knife where like if he caught a fucking rabbit or something, he was gonna gut it in the woods. That that's literally all he that's literally That's it. That's building. the only weapon he used, man. And like I said, there's like what, three kills in the whole movie? No screaming. They didn't even care that people died. I like that's one thing that's about bear movies, yo. That's what had me confused as shit. And I remember when the two dudes got killed, right? One got killed like in the tree like this. Yep. The other one was just like dead on the dock. So the police come. No, he wasn't a police officer, I don't think. No, no, no. <laughs> You're right. He wasn't a police. He was a neighbor or something. He was asking yep. these kids. The cops were on their way. Now, this is what got me. This is what kind of frustrated me and pissed me off. I even said when I was watching the movie. I'm like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. So the cops come or whatever. They don't show the cops coming at all. Probably couldn't afford it in the budget. That's fine. Yep. <laughs> Can't afford that cop car scene. <laughs> so they, instead of like, them saying, you know, the cops told us we should leave. The cops said we should stay here for one more night so they can figure more things out. That makes no sense. So nope. when is there a murder scene and cops come to you and they know you're innocent, whatever the case may be. They, they don't even know. They Like, nobody was taken in for questioning yep. at all. And then on top of that, they tell you to stay where your, two of your friends just got killed and yep. stay for one more night. There was the no... Me the mental was, scarring. You would be emotionally oh, yeah. disturbed. And number two, the killer's still on the loose. They're not going to have you keep in the same fucking area. That's what I'm saying. At, at the very least, they'd have a police presence. Even if it's a couple undercover cops. Maybe one of the cops stays in with you. One of the cops stays out front and yeah. kind of watches you the whole time. There was nothing. 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 Let them by yourself. <laughs> then the other two didn't even care. There's a murderer out there. Where are you going? Trying to stop him. Yo, shoot the fuck. And they just let him go. They're like, there's nothing's going on to go on the boat. Just He's just trying to get some. Like, yo, they wouldn't care if you went upstairs and got some. You don't yeah. have to go hide. Like How many sex boat jokes boat. are in there? They're like, I'm uh, shocked no one did on a chair right there when they they got, you're sitting there. They got killed in the boat, which that kill sucked because, like, again, you couldn't really see anything. Nope. You just see the guy stabbing like this, and you don't really see much because it's so fucking dark. I think they're trying to keep his identity away, but like we never, we kn didn't know who he was in the beginning anyway. You, you see him in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, that's it. But like, how are you going to hide the identity? Like, I don't understand. It's like he's not like a famous, like, oh my God, who is this? It's their best friend, their oh, father's yeah. best friend or something. Yeah. Or it's like a random dude, don't even have a name. Well, if they might give his name, it was a gym or something, maybe. I can't even remember. I don't know, man. It, it was so sad. Like I said, it was like four murders. And it they spread out the murders. So this dude has like four murders under his belt in his mm -hmm. whole career for being a killer, serial killer. That we know of. That we know of. Oh, it was horrible. Even the end. It ended horrible. Like he had no injuries. Some reason the lake was drained. Did you notice the lake was like no water in it? Uh-uh. It looked like it was dry. And he was walking down to the dock. It, it kind of looked like an old-time sitcom. Where you have the whistling in the background, <laughs> and it fucking going down the hill, you know, <laughs> it was so sad. This this production, like, oh my god, like, I give them credit though. You know, you want to you want to get out there, direct and produce, create your own movies. I'm not gonna hate on that. No, but come on, take your time and think about this stuff. I give, like I said, I I I'll, I'll put it to you like this. I give them credit for making a movie because they made a movie, and that's probably what they. Oh, excuse me. And that's obviously what they wanted to do is make a movie. It's just the movie sucks. Yeah, it's I'm sorry bad. to say it. It's like horrible. I said, I try to say nice things about the movie. The cover's pretty cool, even with the Fat Freddy. The cover's pretty cool. Yep, you can't win them all. Like I said, I choose. I I'll click on these B movies. You might oh, find some good ones, but you are going to find garbage. Like I love horror. It don't mean I'm going to love everything that comes. I come across. Mm -hmm. There is some people like that. There are some people that love horror so much that it don't matter what they watch. They, or they like it, or it's an act. They say they like it, but they don't I really agree. like it. I agree. Because there's, there's, there's no way in hell that you can watch if you watch the shit ton of horror movies, even if you just watch the Hollywood movies, that you can like that you'll like every single movie no. that you've watched. There's no way. There's no way. Now you like, might like most of them, but there's no way you like every single one. You're like, oh, I love this movie. This movie was great. No. Because these two movies are here. If anybody says they love these two movies, 
<laughs> I mean, I guess you can. I guess you can. Okay, let me rephrase this. If anybody says they love these two movies that aren't related to anybody that had or friends or you have zero connections with the people that made these two movies, maybe. But how many people? Not very many people like these movies. I'm sure. Some people might say, oh, yeah, well, Christopher Lloyd was in this and Shannon Doherty. So, yeah, this is, this has to be good. I'm shocked. They must have been desperate or something. I'm shocked. Chris, even I'm going to say, I understand Shannon Doherty. She dropped out of the scene with 90210. Yeah, but this was that. 87, don't forget. So no, the, no, Blood Lake was 87. That one, that Lamprey one was 2014. You're right. Damn. You're fucking right. 87 was this one. That, that piece of garbage, the Blood Lake with the Fat Freddy. It was 87. <laughs> and like, like, with, like I said, this one, this one over here really had a lot of potential. I just feel like it does. Like, so they rushed it. it and then, <coughs> okay, before we jump over there, let's, let's get rid of this horror, sh this horse shit sh movie right here. One. So yeah, this one, this is garbage. The acting was bad. That one tall doof that we thought, I thought was a cop too. And it was like, and at the end, they were like, do you, oh, I found out it was the, uh, the father who bought the house mm -hmm. but never paid him or something. They're like, he, he killed people over that? And the guy was like, yep. That's it. Yep. That's all he said. Yep. Oh gosh. It was horrible. But anyways, let's it rate this garbage so we can move on to the next garbage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because we're going to, I got a feeling we're going to. Uh, oh, Blake. Uh, how I many mean, cheap at, at one to 10 cheap ass knives? How many cheap ass knives would you give? No, fuck that. One to 10 highlighters. Cause that's what that there you go. Yeah, that's what it looks how many like. Highlighters, highlighter. How many red highlighters would you give this movie? At a time? I don't listen. I don't believe in giving a zero because I didn't make it through it. There was no titties. There was nothing to save it at all, no. except for the little sexual jokes here yeah. and there, which wasn't. They were funny ish, but I think it's only because it was the kid. The younger yeah. kid. If it was like one of the older ones saying this shit, it wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been funny. No. So, because I can never give a zero, I will say a one only, one highlighter. Ooh. That's it. That's it. I can't help it. I, I almost, I was so mad at myself making it through it. And I'm sorry, real people, real quick. From now on, these movies are going to be from, I'll say zero to, you can give negative numbers if you want. Oh, I, I don't know if I can do it. I, this is from zero to ten, and I'm gonna give this movie a point five. Ooh, wow! A point fucking five. A little less just than that. Like, I don't want to give it a zero because they tried. Yeah, I agree. That's why I say. And they didn't do good. They tried, and <clears throat> I know you guys seen or they didn't see this one because it wasn't in the video at the time. But I know you guys heard the show where I, me and my brother gave um, Tales from the Hood two a negative thirteen. That was for her. <laughs> That's a reason. And I'll tell you why really, really, really quick. This is what my brother said, because I agree with him on this, and I agree with his rating on this, so we both gave it a negative 13. Because when the original one came out versus when the sequel came out, it was thir they were 13 years apart. Oh, yeah. The sequel you weren't expecting at all, and then when you seen that it was coming out, you were excited for it. And it was the same director and, I believe, producers, and they just, well, if you've seen it, you had 13 years yeah. to make this shit good, and, and you don't. So, yep. yeah. That's Waste why, of time and money. That's why that's a negative 13. I watched okay. it on Netflix. It was a waste of time and money because you pay for electricity, you pay for Netflix, you pay for the internet. So, I wasted my time and money. So, on that. so you're telling me you'd rather watch this shitty ass Blood Lake over the other one? Mm. Tales in the Hood, too? You know what it is? It's because I had expectations for Tales in the Hood, too. Okay. This, I had zero expectations, which I'm trying to go into movies with zero expectations, but I feel like when there's a certain movie that you watch <clears throat> and you enjoy it and they make a sequel from, especially when they make a sequel like 13 years later, 10 years later, it's different if they make a sequel like a year or two later and they kind of, you know what I mean? Because then they can kind of yeah. toy around with it, maybe do different things down the road if they want to make more sequels. But when they make it 13 years later, you don't even think that that's going to happen. You don't even yeah. know. And they, they, uh, we're very hang on one second all right hang on never mind for for technical yeah. reasons real quick yeah yeah are we recording yes okay i'm gonna pause it no because last time i thought i seen a recording up in the left hand corner and i just noticed i didn't see nothing 
I was like, wait a minute, don't tell me we were talking all about this movie and not recording this shit. Let's no, get up here on my side. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, I got you. But, Just wanted uh, to make sure. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. But yeah, like I was saying, like, so you have, ex- I had certain expectations for that movie and I just felt like it just, it shit the bed. It just shit the bed for me. And it's something I never want to see again. Like the only, put it this way. The only way that me and my brother will possibly watch that movie again is if there is, and this is still an open challenge, people, a friendly fun debate. Swearing is allowed. We won't be bashing you like saying you're fucking stupid. Fuck you. You should die. But I'll say, how the fuck can you like this movie? I'm talking about Tales from the Hood 2. Like a friendly debate and just going back and forth of why you hate it, why you liked it, and just, you know, something like that. It doesn't even have to be, like, a big, intelligent conversation because this podcast is about having a, gr- a great fucking time. I know we do throw out some gems in there here and there, but, you know, it's, it's about a good, having a good time. But anyway, yes, that movie was worse because I had those expectations for it, and it was just, did you see it? I believe I did. It's been a while. I'll have to like recap. And like, it was one of those things where I watched the movie, right? I watched, it was like four or five o'clock in the morning. I was watching, I fell asleep watching it. And I went to go rewatch it and just could not get into it. I had to like force myself to watch just the parts that I missed. So I can, you know, talk about it with my brother. Wow. These two movies, same thing. I wouldn't watch them again, but I guess they were better. I guess. I mean, they, they suck. They, they all were bad. Yeah. But I guess they were better. I, I really don't know what to say. Like, I try to be positive about stuff now. And, I mean, I'm going to give you my honest opinion, but I try to, again, I try to give, like, the positives about these movies. This movie over here, I'll say, cool, has an awesome fucking title. But I feel like a better, I feel like somebody, I would love to see an independent filmmaker do a Blood Lake movie, and they would knock this shit out the park. I mean, I know technology is a lot different now. It's also easier to do things now to an extent, but still like this had just the title and the cover alone. I mean, again, it looks like a fat Freddy. If they had the guy kind of standing up straight and just not wearing the fedora, I don't don't know. They could have changed the cover a little bit just so he doesn't look like a Freddy. Other than that, this movie was just, it was shit. I gave it a 0.5. I'm not apologizing for that. Apologizing for that point five. This movie is definitely not surf Thirty approved. You're not getting a stamp, which I haven't figured out a stamp thing yet, but I will. You're getting a disapproved stamp or not approved stamp. Something. You're getting the opposite. It wasn't even, even a time. fun watch. Like no, I didn't even have fun. Why? I this this was one of those movies where like I hit play. I, I yo I texted you within the first five fucking minutes, and I was like. Yo, I can already tell this movie is worse than the one I just just watched. Yeah. I watched it. Listen to these people. These movies are both about an hour and a half a piece. I watched them back to back. That's three Ooh. fucking hours. I'm never gonna get back. Yeah, that's true. Three at least I fucking hours. At least I separate them. Like I watched uh, the 2014 one this morning because mm-hmm. I knew the podcast because we're gonna do the double just because the miscommunication. So we don't waste the movie. Let's get yeah. them together. Um, and they have the same, I mean, it, it worked because they have the same titles and I might do this exactly. again at some point down the road. Uh, five movies that have the same title. Yeah. But it, even if they're the complete op, cause these were the complete opposite as far as, I mean, they're both horror movies, but this one was a slasher and this one was more of an aquatic horror. Yeah. So it wasn't like the same. I mean, it, again, I think it'd be fun. It shouldn't even named it blood Lake though. There was like four kills and like you, you hear a movie called blood Lake. You're going to think like. Blood, like multiple, yeah, multiple blood. kills. Not only that, but I was thinking, what well, I mean, Blood Lake could be a slasher again, similar to not stealing the idea, but similar to like a Jason, as far as where like people, you know, people get killed at this lake, or it could be an aquatic horror like this one was, but better. Yeah. Where there's, you know, because people love going to the beach, people love going swimming, and just I don't know, I I really don't know with this one. I I will say this, people. Watch these movies. Watch this one at your own risk. We're going to talk about. It. We're going to really dive into this one next. Yeah. But watch this one at your own risk. If you like it, leave a comment under the video or on the yeah. Leave a comment under the video. Start leaving comments under the YouTube videos, people, of why you liked it, please. And if you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it. No, I guess yeah. Start leaving some sure. comments on here. If I'm you sure agree. that I'm sure that paragraph's going to be bigger. Yes, <laughs> this movie was just. Again, I gave it a 0.5. 
Um, I probably will never watch this again. No. I've, no. I watched it for the podcast, so I don't have to watch it for a podcast sake. The only, only, only... Okay, here's one. One way I'll definitely watch it is if I get paid to watch it. And as we oh, go, yeah, I'll watch know, anything if I get paid to watch it. Two... If I'm on someone else's show that wants to review this movie, if they really want to review it and they want me to review it with them, I'll watch it, I guess. Just to get a refresher, but I probably can watch like the first five minutes. Like, okay, you know what? I'm good. <laughs> I got it down. So, with that being said, like I said, it's not Surf 30 approved. So, it's not getting a Surf 30 approved stamp when I create that. And, yeah, I just, watch at your own risk. That's what, that's what the stamp's going to be. You're going to get a search 30 approved or you're going to get a watch at your own risk. This is a watch at your own risk. Good choice. Search 30 says watch at your own risk. Now, this one over here. <laughs> All right. So let's go jump into this other one. <laughs> <laughs> this one over here, I watched first. And I kind of wish I watched this one first just for the simple fact of how bad this one was. Yes. <laughs> because it I, was like. I'm glad I watched the crappier one first. See, and I did it back because it, it's like one of those things where. Let me try to think. I'll go back to like the school days. There was, <laughs> we each had a class or maybe classes that you liked or fuck it. I'll say lunch. You can't wait till lunchtime just so you can go hang out with your friends, talk shit and bullshit, right? You can say the same thing about study hall. I feel like with these two movies, this is like that boring ass class that you're in. That you're just like, fuck, when's it going to be over? Or when's the school day going to be over? This is like compare just comparing these two to each other, not comparing them to any other movie or me liking these movies. But this one would be more like if you're doing them back to back, this is more like lunchtime or like gotcha. study hall in a sense of where it's more entertaining. I'll say study hall. It's more entertaining, but you're still in school. You're still bored. Yep. Get your educational kids. That that's a good uh, but that's, this, I like that. I like that analogy. That's pretty much how it is. I, I was going to say lunch with them. Like, you know what? Lunch, you have way more freedom. You could go out and giggle with your friends, talk shit, you know, fart on somebody's lunchbox. You can't do that in study hall. You shouldn't no. do that anyway. But I'm just, just, just giving you silly examples. They say that's what this movie is kind of like, the, the, newer, the 2014 one we're about to talk in. Talk study about. hall. Yeah. This is one of those movies, like, it, it would probably be slightly more better if you watched it with somebody just so you guys can talk crap uh, yeah. about yeah. it through it. You'd have more. As a matter, that's these two movies are the type of movies you should watch with people who have <clears throat> a really good sense of humor. Not because these movies are funny, but because you guys can go back and forth and talk shit about yeah. kind of like how we're doing now, but we're not watching. I agree. And I'm then watching make, this shit at six in the morning. Oh so. shit! Make <laughs> fun of the movie. I would have fell asleep. Actually, you know what? Like I guess I watched these movies back to back. I forgot what time I started these movies yesterday, but. I just decided it was a good idea to watch them both. I didn't expect I, that. I, I, and the funny thing was with the, with this one right here, the with the lampreys, I watched this one laying down in bed. <clears throat> Cause I remember I was telling you about the like, game yeah, laying down. I was like, I might just throw it out. You're like, you'll fall asleep. Cause you thought I was talking about this one. Yeah. I, you would have fell asleep if you were watching I probably it. Would have, but it was this one. Cause this one, I came downstairs and made myself something to eat. And you know how Tubi has commercials. Like I had my alarm set for when the oven goes off. Yep. Go grab my food. I didn't even pause it. <laughs> <I just got, laughs> that's how much you care you're like what am i gonna miss i'm skiing again <laughs> I, I was hoping i would miss something yo i got up and like it was one of those commercials was like a minute or a minute and a half long so i got up went into the kitchen grabbed my stuff because i already had everything set up in the living room so i went to the kitchen grabbed my stuff and then just fucking get back there like right in right in time if that's what you want to call it and uh, then we start to like <laughs> yeah like damn it yeah, this that, just back to this real quick. I'll say it for both, but definitely this is the type of movie right here where, like, again, if you're watching with friends or watching with your wife, whoever you're watching it with, you know, like when somebody leaves the room to use the bathroom or something, hey, pause that. I'll be right yep. back. Or going to grab something from the door. Hey, the food's here. I'm going to go grab that. I'll be right back. Don't pause this movie. No. <laughs> just, no. Let, just let it play because I'm telling you right now, people, and this will be my last thing I say about it for now. It's one of the, again, <clears throat> damn, pajama pants are showing. <laughs> it's one of those ones where you don't need to pause it it has so much bullshit going on unimportant shit unimportant dialogue just long scenes of nothing long scene. it'd be like a, a scene i'll give you an example people it'd be like a scene of me and james just sitting here talking about nothing for yep. 45 minutes pretty much and then a kid, what it was 
that's what it was through this whole movie. 20 minutes of nothing and then maybe a kill or something and then another 20, 30 minutes of nothing and then it, it, it was bad. No. It was... Fuck this movie. Yeah, bad. Back onto this one. Let's this go. one had potential. This one was that... This one had more humor to it for me. Yeah. Um, the cover is badass, like you said. Yeah, the cover's... I really, I really thought it was going to be something like this. I Listen, this could have been like right here this could have easily easily cause just look at this oh wrong way just look at that cover and again i'm going to show you guys in the video later or beginning of the video or the end of the video probably be, i don't know when you'll see it you'll see it when you see it but what i'm getting at is with this cover right here this could have easily been a fucking awesome awesome like mermaid killing movie killer exactly. mermaid like movie. something like that exactly so call it blood lake but like that and have the mermaid, as always, be attractive. Dumbass guys fall for it. They go in there. Maybe she offers them some oral fixation, and they get their meat ripped off, and she kills Something. them. Something. Just because that mouth. Like, yeah, that's, it's just, and it wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. It was these little lamprey things, which they are real, and they do it, suck blood from, like, they're, they're kind of, like, bigger snake slash leech looking. Like, they're bigger than there leeches. And um, they are they are real though. I watched I seen it on um, which I'm gonna say this River River Monsters, which the guy yep. Jeremy Wade was in this movie for a little yep. bit talking with, which I thought was kind of cool. That part it, was cool, yeah. It gives this movie some cool points with that. Obviously, Christopher Lloyd, Shannon Doherty, that gives them some cool points with that. But it was still like, uh, I don't yeah. know, because the with this one, the acting wasn't great. Which I don't look for like excellent fucking acting in my horror movies. I do not at all. I look for you know decent subpar. If it's great, awesome. If it's not, that's fine. The acting was actually the acting was decent in this movie. It was pretty good. Some were better than others, but it was I just call it, I call it sci-fi acting, like Sharknado acting. Okay, yeah, yeah, I could see that. But it was just like I don't know. It was it, it seemed so predictable in a sense of. Jaws ish. Now, people, I'm not mixed. Couldn't, I'm not comparing this to Jaws. Jaws was a fucking amazing fucking movie, an excellent movie. But I mean, Jaws ish as far as with the mayor, he didn't want to shut down the the beach yeah. and stuff because tourism, money. Yeah, they copy. You know, that's what movies do. You got to copy a little bit of something. Yeah, <laughs> in a storyline. Same with Jaws. You know, with the whole shutting down the beach and all that. You know what happened in Jaws? If you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, watch Jaws over these movies which you know what i want to do a pod oh we got to do rubber next but i want to do a podcast i not i did the original the first jaws but Whew. the other ones that sucked like jaws two and three because i haven't seen those in years but that would be fun to do i'm gonna say this right now rubber is better than that other blood lake really yes oh shit i'm watching that fucking it, it is i, I had i had to say it's better i was more into it than this one i'm saying that's fucking awesome. so that's the only reason i'll say it. but anyways that's for another day <laughs> we got to do that one next shit we'll talk about that after yeah but, uh, yeah blood lake this one over here like i was saying just like with the beach being shut down thing they copy that from jaws yeah. how the mayor didn't want it shut down how the mayor was mad when the guy that's christopher down. lord by the way it was the mayor christopher lord i want to know and the kills were kind of cool the ones that they showed they were they were all right they weren't bad they could have been a shit ton better. And I just... Uh, the look of the lamprey things, when they were in water, it was kind of... It was too CGI-ish for me, for one. Yes, yes. Too CGI-ish, but I get it. You, you have, like, like, seven of them swimming at you. You can tell yeah. it's CGI. You do, I understand you don't want to use real ones, but I feel like something like these... Again, people who do practical effects don't take any offense to this because I don't do them. I don't know how to do them. I love what you guys do. It's fucking amazing. I think that's one thing that horror needs. This is what this... If they if, Put it this way. If, if they did practical effects with the lamprey things, with a decent... Like, say if they had, like, just 40, 50 of them just kind of swimming at you or whatever. The case, when they showed them like that, I think that right there would have made this... Would have helped this movie out. That right okay. there would have helped this movie out. And, like, they use CGI's too much in it. And they just... Like, they had these things climbing over walls and shit and just, yeah. like... Going they're sucks, they're they're suctioning against a rock and everything and climbing it. Like I'm, I don't know how that was possible, but anyways, that's what they're doing. I, I just uh, 
And again, no, no, no titties. No, 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 yeah. And there was a couple hot chicks in there too. Yeah, the thing, the the one chick, the neighbor. Yeah. I was like, she's definitely gonna take her top off in this movie, and she. Yeah, did. what the what she called the kid to come over to clean the pool. Yeah. I was like, oh, finally something. <laughs> and it didn't happen. The daughter was hot. It didn't happen. It didn't happen, man. It was just the kills, I, like you said, they were like. Okay, one jumps on like the eyeball one was pretty cool. That was, that, was a, out. That, that was a good kill. That the was funny cool. one was the mayor went up his ass and it showed it like kind of crawling. You know it was going up his yep. ass. And then came out and then coming through and coming out of his mouth when they opened the door. Yeah, right. even though it looks like an anus kind of. If yep. you look at the damn things. Yep, that that uh, one was a that one was a funny kill. Yeah, it was a funny um, kill. The kill where the guy went into the sewer or whatever. To kill some lampreys to get their um oh where they all attacked him when he was laying there and it sucked him like completely down yeah that one was eh. it was that was that was because uh, it was because that was spot was like it was lit like the lighting was pretty good for it so you could tell like how it looked hundred percent CGI like oh to God. the extreme and it was see the thing with CGI people is as you know you've heard this show plenty of times and. You're horror fans. We all pretty much feel the same about CGI. I like it, I guess. I feel like it's useful in some aspects of movies. Yep. But I feel like for the most part, it looks shitty and it's overdone. For Again, for some aspects of movies, it's great. It, it's necessary. It's needed. But then for others, I feel like it's just way too much. It's It's garbage. And in this movie, the CGI was garbage. It was just like... Again, I don't know that. I don't know how to do CGI. I, I don't know how to do practical effects. No. I'm not gonna act like I do. I know how. To, I know what I see, and I know what I like. And this did not catch my eye, as far as the CGI goes. Again, this cover is misleading. Yes. If they went, if the movie had somebody in this, like a mermaid or whatever, that had a mouth like this, or fuck, if even if they had it to where, like, say they got bit by the lamprey thing, and they started to change and this is how they ended up looking with their mouths like this that would be they had good to beat off of people and stay in the water that would have been fucking awesome actually that would have been amazing yeah but no they just had these lampreys and oh, shit pretty much the story is there's a father he's like a ranger i guess or whatever the fuck you want to call he's, he's a like wildlife a, wildlife yeah, like, uh, like a park in wildlife something like he, he'll go like ecosystems he's one of, he's one of them type of people yeah and he had his little team with him and like you know they were testing the water they're they're turning off the water turning on or off the water turbine turning them on right the water turbines oh they got jammed they got so jammed. they called them down there and they found out they're jammed because of the lampreys yep. and he was like this is not good he's trying to warn them he's like how are they getting in we have to stop it because they multiply fast Mm -hmm. You don't but, want him in a Lake Michigan and all that shit. Yep. And like, it was just, ugh. it was, yeah, it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> and it was, again, it was one of those movies where I felt it was, I felt like it was rushed to an extent. And I felt like, again, with this, if they would have used practical effects instead of CGI, it kept the movie the, the same or similar. I say if they didn't have them change like this, which they fucking should have and use practical effects instead of CGI, that would have helped. That would have helped some. It might. It wouldn't have made the movie fucking amazing, but it would have helped the movie. It would have made it more watchable, I guess, more plausible. Yeah. This right here, though, even if they had to use CGI to do this, would have just made a huge fucking difference. I'm telling you right now, if they did this and had the story kind of what how I said, like the lampreys, you know, they bite the people, they attack the people, yeah. and you know, within a few hours, I mean, obviously movie hours are like a few minutes, but movie hours a day, let's say they form into these lampreys and they're like half human, you know, they have like the human body maybe, or maybe they have to stay in water. I don't know. Cause they say these lampreys can go on land, in, land, for, land in water. They say if it's moist or like damp, they can go on land. So maybe these people can go on, maybe they can go on land because they were people first and they have, but they have to eventually go back into the water. But, just something like they had the hands. They look like a person, but then they had the mouth like that when they open their mouth, or just something, or they can switch. I agree. They could have done it totally different. That they could have had it like sacrifice, like say for like say the daughter got bit, and it was like she was slowly changing. Yes, and they had like, to figure out a way to save her. Yeah, but no, this is all about these fucking leeches, lampreys. But I'm going to say leeches to make so people can have a visual, <laughs> like what they are. 
They look like a little anus that sucks tea and sucks your blood. So there's shit ton of them, CGI all over the place. Then when they were holding them, it looked like you could tell they were made from rubber. Yeah. They look like those fake rubber snakes you can buy to do pranks with. That's probably what they were. They probably were. True. It was so bad. And then they're, they're a short of time, they cut it open all the dead ones to get those little liver sacks. Yeah. Like they had time for that shit. Yep, they did. They did do and that. There's, once again, like these movies, like like you said, it was rushed, but like there's like no emotion for them. If they add like to their acting, emotional stuff, like like that one dude, you know he cared. That one girl loved them. Mm-hmm. That other ranger, they like she had a thing for him. He cared for her. She, they see right in front of his face, sees her getting killed by the Lambert. Getting killed, yeah. and he's just when it's punches the car once, and he's just holding his head. They're like, then the dude asked the stupidest question in the world. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> like, no, yeah, you're not. no emo- that's that's yeah. another thing that can make or break a scene in a movie. And again, I'm no expert. I'm just I just watch them. I'm a podcaster. But uh is like <laughs> showing emotion. Showing yeah. emotion on your face, your body language. Like it's just like he was just like damn and then That's it. Yeah. That, okay. that, that he moved on with his life. There was like no panic when they're all coming out of the pipes and people's tubs and everything mm-hmm. there's like people it's like they're acting like it's a normal thing like they should have showed like people losing their fucking minds yeah but there's like like i said there's no emotion like you ever see uh arachnophobia the spiders yep yep there was more that that acting was better it's like they because when they seen the spiker you seen fear mm-hmm. these That's people cool. like then had no fear on their face they needed it though, because that would change shit. I mean, yeah, it would. I agree. I know I'm getting too much into this motion shit. No, no, no. You're right though. You're 100 percent right. Same with this movie too. There was no, there was zero no. motion in this one at all. Yeah, and it was this like was, this. There, this, you know what it was? There was emotion in some parts, but it was played out so bad. It was it like the emotion, like the, the girl already crying, the, the like looking chick, for her son. <laughs> the one chick, um. The daughter, remember how her father was saying, like, you know what, you got to stay here. Oh, in a bed? Yeah, she's in bed crying. And yeah. she sneaks out, and she's like, why do I have to listen to him? He can't tell me what to do this time. And I'm just like, that was just, they did too much with that. Yeah. Like, why is he trying to run my life? Like, first of all, he's your dad. He can't tell me what to do. Second of all, he's Well, your... that's the normal cliche. It's the normal cliche. Teen thing. Yeah. Teen thing, cliche, which I'm The sure teenage that's daughter cliche. thing, really. The but teenage it, daughter thing. I felt like they just overdid it with that. They like stuck on that too much. They what they should have done with that scene is cut that scene in half. She's upset about it. She's mad about it. And she just goes to her boyfriend's house. That's it. Her By the way, her- she's she's mad about her boyfriend that's so she's like in love with that she only met like two days. That's true too. <laughs> that was the weird shit because they just moved it because they didn't even finish unpacking. Yo, I, if I was the dude, unpacking. I don't care if I knew you only two days and shit's going down like this, I'm like, yo, get to your family. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, Coven, you're going to help me? Fuck no, I'm out of here, bitch. I don't know yeah. you like that. <laughs> yeah, it was literally like two, two, three days. This movie was over the course of a couple of days. I, that's, that's a big important thing, too, which fucking bothered me about this movie is they had just moved in there, which is fine. The neighbor comes over, gives them cookies and, you know, kind of being a little flirty. And then, which yeah, I, I went nowhere. I, I thought it was going to like... I yeah. thought that was gonna come out more too. Like she coming over again, trying to sneak and trying to get to have a like an affair or something. But that nothing. That, nothing. That, that was like that, a waste that, of scene. Why did they do that? They shouldn't even put that in there. And then you have I think the only reason I put that scene in there just so when the girl's boyfriend and the girl went over there, because the boy, girl's boyfriend was like a pool cleaner and stuff. Like he did stuff. He was going to do maintenance maintenance over there. Well, he really thought he was going to do maintenance over there because she said, "This is this is the weird part too." While while I'm talking about this, because she invited, she said, "Yeah, um, I don't remember his name. Can you come over and fix Alex? The pool I think or whatever. Yeah, I think you're right, Alex. Can you come over and fix the pool or whatever? And uh, I'll, I'm going to be gone for the day, so you can just come in. Yeah. And I'm like. Okay, so he's in. On, he's under the impression of okay. Well, you know, let me invite my girl over and see where this. You know, see what happens. Pretty much. Yo, he was going to get paid cleaning the pool and get some. That's yeah. what was on his mind. And she, but the lady had it in mind. And th- mind you, the kids that we're talking about, they weren't like little kids. They were like probably like eighteen, nineteen years old. Like they were teens. They were older teens though. To that point, yeah, where, above the age. Like, <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> the, the kid calls his girl, 
you're like, hey, what are you doing? You should come over. That uh, come over to your to your neighbor's house and pretty much you know go over there. She's going to clean the pool. She's going to be gone all day. But she thinks that he's going to be there. She, the girl, the lady thinks it's going to be him and her. The dude thinks it's going to be him and his girl. That's what him and his girl think as well. And you find out that the lady's there. She has like a bottle of wine and some glasses. Like, I hope he likes such and such. Gets into the water. Which here's what bothered me is when, you know, she gets into the water. She gets attacked by the lampreys or whatever. She doesn't die, I guess. Because remember, they say if they go over there, they pull her out of the water. Oh, yeah. And she's still alive. And the lampreys like jump out and drag her back into the water and start killing yeah. her. Yeah. I'm like, what well, they want? They're one this day, fucking big. One didn't come out of her mouth. Yeah, maybe, maybe at some point, maybe. Maybe I don't know. That's another thing. They repeated that. I think that happened. Uh, Christopher Lloyd that came out of his mouth. Yeah, he went from his ass and came out. Of his yeah, mouth. that's that's some travel right there though. Yeah, he just he just tasted his own asshole. Because he was still uh, alive. Yeah, he was still alive. He got his salad chopped by the lamprey. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Chris! I thought you were better than that, man. You should have went back to the future and fucking. Yeah, you. there you go. That you know what, Christopher Lloyd, you can save this. Get into the Del- De- wow. Get in the DeLorean. Go back to the future or go back to the past. Change this movie and change this movie, and come back to the future. And there you go. Fucking either erase them out of existence or make them better. Listen to this podcast. Watch this podcast. Take some ideas. I'm like, okay, you know what? We could fix these and fix that. Man, I feel that's another thing. I feel sorry. Like you, know, you still got to get paid. You still got your do. You know, you're you're out of the scene now because you know your time's passed. Like say Shandori, especially Christopher Lloyd. I think Christopher Lloyd is way more popular celebrity mm-hmm. than Shandori. But when yep. you get to the point where you they hand you this script and they go, "Yo, how would you like to do a movie?" and he reads this and he really sits there reading this, I want to know what's going through his head. Is he really going? Yeah, this is being honest, like saying. He really thinks it's good. I'm going to be in this shit because this might hit mad money. Or is he's like sitting there crying, going, <laughs> fuck, I need a job. Yeah. And it just take it just for the money. I wouldn't you know do the same saying? thing. But I'll tell you right now, if they were to do these movies today, I'd be in both of them. But I'm not an actor. I'm. No, you don't need to be an actor to be in that one. Now, this one right here? Oh, yeah, no, no. Yo, man. I could fucking, I have a. Shit. I could shoot a movie right on this shit. There you go. Well, yeah. And it'll, probably, it'll probably be better than that one. Oh, yeah. It'd be HD quality. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it'd be HD quality. Oh, man. Write up a little script. You know, have little skits or whatever. I could fucking, it, it was just bad. It was. Like, it, it, uh, both of these movies were just fucking bad. And bad. It, it's one of those things where, like, again, the title just grabs you the blood lake you're like oh shit this is gonna be fucking awesome and the covers for both even though we were cracking jokes on this cover this cover yeah. the covers are still pretty dope no they are you expect way more from that like the, the crappier one i'm talking about the 87 yeah. like the, it does look decent like you're like oh shit what's going you know it does pull you in a little bit like because okay. <laughs> i'll say it like this when you look at this one you can possibly look at this one and think of like uh, some sort of monster, even just because of the way his face looks, like yeah. it's, it's funny because it looks like he has like a Freddy hat on. The yeah, fedora. yeah, and a swir- striped shirt. It kind of looks like a striped shirt, shirt. kind of, sort of. And then the face. Uh, now, now looking at it now, it looks like a shitty version of a Michael Myers mask. Kind of, yep. Or like, or even let's go back to Freddy. It looks like a, a swollen face, like burnt, swollen fat face. But then but, he's holding uh, a highlighter. Yeah, and it was just. Oh, Oh man, it, it was bad. But anyway, <laughs> we can't have a Again, flashback of that garbage. Blood Lake, it drags you in. It draws you in just it the does. new home. Don't be fooled, people. Do not don't, be fooled. Don't, don't be fooled, fooled by this. Well, I I always say like, give it a shot. You might like it. I'm not gonna tell you not to watch something. That's you know. I'm gonna say watch at your own risk. That's my that's my thing. I'm gonna say watch at your own risk. If you like it, cool. If you don't like it, cool. But I would love people to be more engaging and just. Again, the comments below on the YouTube channel. Say why you like it or dislike it. Even yeah, on the I'll, even on the Podbean thing, I'll say the same thing. There's a comment section when the episode comes out. This is for any episodes. Why you like the movie or movies we discuss and why you didn't like it. If you like them or like, you know, either or. Give me both. Give yeah, me I'm curious one. too. Maybe maybe you'll change my mind. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, you oh, know you, what? It is better. Oh, you know what? You're not going to change my mind about either one of these movies. <laughs> like I said, this is a fucking point five. 
and it's almost a fucking zero. Like the more I discuss and think about this movie, you know what? <laughs> this movie is a zero for me. This oh, movie man. is an absolute fucking zero. I will never watch this movie again. If you want me to review this movie with you, I'm just going to go by memory. I'm sorry. If there's somebody you want me to come on your show, I'm going by memory for this one. This one over here, it's a better rating, which I'll give you that in a little bit. Yep. I would rewatch this one. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Listen, dude, I'm going to tell you right. The only way I'll rewatch this, because I'm going to throw this, is like I, I'm really weird with this stuff when I the CGI and everything. Because when I see a movie and I go, I automatically go, I can put on sci-fi right now, I, and I would have, like, they had a marathon of horror movies, I would expect this blood lake to be in it. Okay. I could see that. So, if if that's the case... If like Crocodator, or, or yeah. th- Two-Headed Shark, or whatever the fuck those movies are, like, you know, the giant alligators, the, with the overloaded of CGI. Oh, yeah. Where sci-fi channel's known for. You think they'll get better after their years? Nah. But they just load it. They love that CGI, man. They just... They really, it. It, and, they make money, man. They can afford real yeah. bucks and shit. Come on. And what, with that being said, with what you just said, I'll agree with you on that. Like, say if I was watching a, a horror marathon on Sci-Fi or another channel that has like a horror marathon, and this comes up, I would have it. I wouldn't. I might not change the channel, but I probably wouldn't be paying attention to it at the same time. Like, say if I'm talking to my wife. Yeah, semi. And, and yeah. This, you know what, people? I'll say this: if you do have these movies on, either one of them. Even though they both fucking suck, this is a zero. Fuck the point five. This is a zero. <laughs> if you play board games, like if you play Monopoly, Uno, something like that, to where you just want background noise and like a background visual, something that you really don't care if you're missing it, but it's like you just have something on. These are maybes. I'll say they're maybes for that. And I say that because at the same time, when you're playing a board game or Uno or something, you do kind of glance up at the TV because you see something yep. cool or you hear something funny. So these are maybes. I'll say if if you do watch them, if you do take that risk of watching them, make sure you're doing something else as you're watching them. I don't yep. mean scrolling through your phone either. Let's put our phone downs and just, you know, play a game with your family, with your loved ones or with your friends, like Uno, Monopoly, Clue, whatever type of board games you can play with these in the background if you feel you need to watch these. And, uh, I'm shocked I made it through the movies. Oh my god! Not touching my phone more. Than I did. The only time I did touch my phone was to message you and say this movie sucks. Yo, that's I'm gonna it. Be honest with you, pretty much the same for me. Like just to post it in the group and my the page that I was watching them, and pretty much just to message you here and there. Other than that, I really wasn't on my phone because uh, that's I, what shocked me. I'm like, wow, because these were so crappy. Yeah, I'm looking back like I thought I'd be on my phone more or something like. I see with me though, I am trying to get better with you know what I'm especially when I'm trying to watch a movie to, to review a movie. Or that might my, be it because I know we're doing the podcast. Or so I was trying my to wife, focus. Of course, but just speaking on podcast terms, I try to focus and just put my phone to the side. It's the distraction. Just don't get distracted by it. But there's there's which I'm getting a lot better at. These these are great tests. These are great freaking – put it this way. You could make these movies into like a drinking game or something. You're watching a movie with some friends, of course. Anytime somebody picks up their phone, they got to take a shot. Not only do they have to take a oh, shot. wow. Yes. I can't think of a that, – that, that's all I got. It's one yeah, of those things. Go or, one right there. Or, or, or – actually, no, this would be too tough because you order food, the food will be there by then. I was going to say, or first person that grabs the phone pays for everybody's food if you're ordering out. But nah, I'll say take a shot. It doesn't have to be anything strong. And for you, for those of you who don't drink alcohol or smoke marijuana, take a shot. You have to eat something sour or eat something spicy. Just you know, just something. Yeah, you turn make into a game. game. At it. Figure out how to make a game at it. Or again, like I said, play Uno. If you're playing Uno, first person picks up their phone. Guess what? You got to draw four, even if the card doesn't say. You just draw four because you grabbed your phone. And the biggest loser is the one who falls asleep because that's when you put your nut sack on their forehead. Wow. See, don't... Okay, listen. <laughs> don't do these games with white people because I guess they take things a little bit further and different. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, we, we kind of... I'm not going that far. We won't do that. That was just... A, but there was a friend who falls asleep. We do go to extreme. Like, we try to think, like, what really fuck him up. We got, like, hot sauce poured in his mouth while he's sleeping. I'll tell you what you do. You want to prank your friends? You tell them these movies are the best fucking movies you've ever seen in your life. They're amazing. That they have to watch from start to finish. And tell them wait till the end because the end is going to shock the shit out of you. 
Uh, that's, that's how you really fuck with people. You might not have a friend no more. <laughs> hey, that just showed you how tough you're. That showed you who your real friends are. Because <laughs> <laughs> this, these movies, man, like, I was talking to my wife about these yesterday. I was like, I told her, I said, I watched these movies back to back, and I said, these are some of the worst movies I've ever watched in my life. And what did she come back and say with her smart mouth? You watch some stupid shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, what, like, that's what's sad. That's what I'm saying. Like, she was like, like, that fucking stupid thanks killing. I was like, hey, hey, wait. I was like, first of all, that's a classic and it's a great movie. Yeah. But again, she hates comedy horror. But I was like, no, I was like, seriously, like these movies were just horrible. I was like, I told her because a lot of times I do the podcast, she, as you know, and as the list, some of the listeners know and the new listeners, my wife is a big horror fan. She, you see her posting shit in the group all the time watching movies. I told her, I was like, you're so lucky. Be happy. You did not watch these two movies because yeah. you wouldn't have went you wouldn't have been able to finish them. They were that freaking bad. It was just, it's one of those things where like, oh, here's another thing. Say you, you know, say you're, say you're having a date night with your wife. You don't even have to be single. So you're having a date night with your wife or your girlfriend. You want to have a movie night and it's your turn to pick the movie or movies and you put these two on, apologize. <laughs> <laughs> you might not you might not be in a relationship next day <clears throat> because this is putting people through some shit if you're hanging out with some friends like hey let's throw blood lake on you know i've never seen it okay i've seen it before but hey i'll throw it on fuck it apologize if you have if you make anybody watch these movies this is why i'm not recommending this move these movies to you guys because i don't want to apologize for it because i don't want to be that person that as you go through this <laughs> Like so, I said, the the, the four, 2014 one with the chick with the mouth, I'm going to say it is way better than the other one. Oh, by I'm far. I'm not going to lie. By far, it's way better. But, so if anybody does decide to, like, I if they go, no, that one over there looks pretty good, I'll be like, okay, then watch it then. Then you'll see. Yeah. But the, one, the other one, like you said, watch on your own risk. Like, you, I'll be like, you're really going to watch that? Don't even waste your time. I'll tell them. And hey, watch it if you want it. That's fine. Yeah, like like I said though, man. Like with me, it's it's for me. It's watch at your own risk for both of them. And like I said, don't blame me if you don't like these movies. Do not yeah. please don't blame me because it's not my fault. It's your fault because you watched them. You chose to watch them. But no, like I, I said, you got you got to do both, it sometimes, man. These are both watch at your own risk movies. And like I said, I will figure out a stamp. So like when I do this or something, it'll say like watch it. Even if it's some words that come across. And like a hand slap, something funny, something funny and coolish. I hope I'm going to work on that though. But yeah, these are definitely watch at your own risk, both of them. And uh, I wonder what Ja Rule thinks of these two movies. He probably wouldn't even watch these. Nah, probably not. I bet Ja Rule don't even like horror. I bet he, I bet he gets scared. I, I don't know. I think you're I don't know. underestimating Ja. I don't know, man. He might be one of those people. He, lack, he acts hard, but when he's home, <laughs> he hears like, of noise and he's like, what the hell is that? And runs out the house or something. You don't know. That'd be some shit. Got don't ask how John Rule got involved in this conversation. People, it just happens. Yeah, it just <laughs> listen, happens. Listen, listen to a lot of previous episodes and you'll see. <laughs> Not just job, just random shit just happens. Yeah, you never and, know. And it, these movies were just, like I said, they were some of the worst horror movies I've ever seen. I agree. I've ever seen in my life. And the funny thing is, I don't regret watching either one of them. And I say this because it's, it's one of those things where it's like one, obviously I want to, I just want to watch them because the titles sound cool. Like I said, blood Lake sounds like a fucking amazing title. That's what I found them, man. I was like, yo, these sound badass. And then two, it's just, I want to, op- I want to broaden my horizon of watching horror movies. Like I don't want to want to just keep watching the same ones over and over and over throughout the years. Like I've been doing growing up watching the same ones, the popular ones. You want to watch those gems? Because some, because there's there not even sometimes. There's a lot of fucking times where you find these hidden gems. These aren't one. Right. These no. were like you're digging for the gems, and this is like just a fucking rock. Yep. <laughs> you fucking throw that shit in the water. And it, you know what? You know how people like to skip rocks across the lake. These are the rocks that you find that don't skip. They just, yeah, the shitty ones where you get mad. <laughs> then you pick up the big rock and just throw it and make a big ass splash. Like yep. fuck you. <laughs> yep. These are the rocks you try to skip, and they just bloop. They don't. They don't even do the hop, yeah. hop. Not even one hop. They just bloop. Go right in the water. I mean, it's so bad. They even try talking up to make it sound better. Like if you read the, the description, mm-hmm. you're like, it sounds exactly like uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Like kids go camping. Yeah. Kids go to a lake house. You're like, okay, this shit. Okay, it's gonna be like basic, you know, serial killer, like, dude in the woods, slasher. 
No, bad. I wouldn't even been mad if the guy that was killing them, like if he just lived at the camp or had a cabin there or a lake house or whatever, it was just killing people just to kill people or whatever, whatever the case may be. Maybe somebody fucked with somebody's family. Like if they had a little backstory or not urban legend, like I said before, but they just had nothing. And the kills, you didn't really say they were dark. And there was a part where at the end of the, towards the end of the movie, they, they got the guy down. One of the kids stabbed the shit out of him. I don't know how many fucking times they go back many times, yeah. and he's gone. I'm yeah. The, the reason is, it's the weapon, man. It's a pocket knife. It gave him little flesh wounds. It didn't go deep. It didn't kill him. It didn't hit no organs. But I'm saying, though, that kid stabbed him at least 20 times, I'd say, right? In the back. It was probably like, he probably had like a, like. But there was no blood, blood trail either. There was no. Oh, yeah, there was no blood or nothing. You're right. That's true. At the very least, this would be a blood trail. There was nothing. And then you see him going. To, don't you see him going to the dock later in the movie or something? It was at the end. I'm yeah. talking about where you, you're expecting like a whistling song. And he's going down there like, yeah, 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 like the end of a sitcom. Mm. And another thing, you just reminded me. They did see him in the, in, in the movie, though. Negative they're already, things. Negative they're at, things. <laughs> remember they're about- at the dock? He was fishing or something. They, and they seen him and they're trying to talk to him. Mm-hmm. They're like, yo, yeah. man. And they start laughing their ass off like someone said something funny. They're just like, yeah. like a guy that's fishing. Hey, you catch any fish? <laughs> like, yeah, like it was the funniest thing that someone ever said. I would have pushed my friend in the water and said, you're an idiot. And just walked and, away. And the dude was minding his own business fishing. Shit, yeah, no. Man, then the kid in the, the fowler fishing. They're mm-hmm. like, hey, did you see? Like, he, like once again, they heard there was killing, murder. There, he had, he's out there in the middle of the night with his son fishing. No, there's a killer going around. Oh, okay. sorry. This is popping my head. We're, we went back to that crap. For oh, no, reason. it's it's fine. We're talking about both things, so it's fine back and forth. But Damn. the funny thing is, people, now you heard. I started out with a point five for this shit. Now you're, I yeah, went you're down to a negatives. zero. Now it's a negative six. Just the oh, more okay. we talk about this movie, the more I hate it. <laughs> okay. And I'm sorry I, to, if anybody okay. who's involved in this movie seen, is, sees this show, I apologize, but this... I agree with you. I'm going to break my rule. I don't ever give zeros or negatives. And I usually don't do the halves. But I'm going to go down to a half because I still can't do the zero and the negatives. Ah. So I'm going to go 0.5 now. I kind of... You know what, James? I kind of want to see what movie you would give a zero or a negative now. That's my purpose in life now. Well, that's Mm. one of my purposes in life. Because... This now this is crazy to say. I want to see something worse than this. I want to see something that's gonna say, make me say, Aaron, why did you wish this upon yourself? I want to see something worse than this. So if anybody has seen this piece of trash, shitty garbage, and no, I'm not talking about Tales from the Hood too, because that's different. That's fuck that movie. <laughs> but I want to see something that I, that I just dislike worse than this. And I know how I rate movies. I know I rate movies based on just that movie that feeling i don't compare it to any other movie but uh you know unless i'm doing a clash like this i guess which again was an accident <laughs> we were supposed to be watching this yeah james started with this one this is the one we were supposed to be watching i watched this and it was fuck. so we got three hours of yeah. shit we wasted our time on. yeah and the funny thing was like james was like you're watching the wrong movie I was like, fuck <clears throat> and i was one of us said well, we might as well just do both <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> might as well do both. And it was three. The funny and another thing, people is like we re- we didn't spoil the movie for each other. Like when we watched because nope. we watched the wrong movies. Well, he watched the right one. I watched the wrong one. We watched the opposite movie. Whatever. We did not. Spo- I just said. I just pretty much said, "How do you feel about the movie?" He was like, "It sucked." I said the it's same. Sick, thing. That's it. I didn't want to give you no details. I didn't want to go. You know what? I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to put this on. I can't do it. Yeah. So I said, I will, "I'm not saying shit to the podcast." No, I, I don't want to ruin it. No, not even that. Like, I would have watched it either way, but when I do a show like this, I'd rather it be like... The, I, and this is... No matter who I record with, if we're doing a movie review, if you want to tell me how you felt about the movie, fine. I liked it. I hated it. Whatever. Zero details before the show because I'd rather hear them for the first time. It's funnier. Yeah. It's more natural. and It's a better conversation than just us talking about it. Similar to, like, when I did the Friday the 13th countdown, which I will be doing another one at some point, and eventually Nightmare on Elm Street countdown. When we did that, we each made a list... We didn't talk to each other about the list at all until the actual show. Then we went down from least favorite to favorite and just kind of seeing where everybody's thoughts were for that. But yeah. Damn, that'd be a big ass marathons to get those going again. Did that countdown? Yeah. Well, or- what we did was like, 
like I'd watch like a movie or two. Like uh, Friday the Thirteenth, I pretty much know the series pretty well, but I'd still watch them as like a refresher and then just kind of think, think, think. And I just wrote down my list, which I feel like from then till now, my list has probably changed because mm. I did this. I think I did this within year one of the show. Right? Yeah, I'm in year two now. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going on three years. Yeah, this is year two, going on three years. Like now, you're going with the main movies, or are you going to the fan base one still? Just, just the main, just the main franchise, only because like it's kind of hard to. I add them to it as far as like if I'm doing a Friday the Thirteenth marathon, I'll add them to it. Like okay, I'm gonna watch these two as well, or I'll watch this on Friday the Thirteenth. But I don't add them to the actual franchise as far as like my countdown goes. Even though I feel Never Hike Alone is better than Jason X and Jason Goes to Hell, and probably Jason Takes Manhattan. Never Hike Alone was good. I, I wish it was longer. Me too. But I like that's I said, good I for a fan film, film though. Absolutely. They did a really good job on that one. It was amazing. As a matter of fact, I believe I gave that movie a ten on this oh, on well. countdown, just because it was really good. You know what's crazy though is I was just saying the other day I, the highest rating I gave the Friday Thirteenth movie was like a five or no, it's like a seven or an eight, never a ten. I just gave part five a nine, but it was just how I was feeling when I was watching it at the moment, and just it's real. Part five is the one with Roy Burns, so it's not Jason. It's copycat killer pretty much, but. The story works because of the copycat thing. There was a couple of things that they could have changed about to make it better and still keep it copycat. Like I was saying, what would have made it a 10 for me possibly is if they would have made the, um, the head guy, the head counselor or whatever. I, he wasn't a counselor. Well, yeah, I guess you can kind of call him a counselor because there was like people who had, you know, issues, so to speak, whether it be mental or not even issues like, I can't even think of it, traumas, let's say. Tommy Jarvis, how he had his trauma because he's seen Jason and all this other shit. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there. okay. So it's like a... But, was um, the psychiatrist? There you go. They should have made him the copycat killer. They should have made him the copycat Jason because he knew about all the kids' backgrounds. And he knew oh, Tommy yeah. Jarvis, and that knew Jason, this, that, and the third. Instead of making yep. the ambulance guy the, ca- the killer or the AT, AT, EMT. EMT. Yep. I said ET. I said ATM. <laughs> ET. EMT. The A-team. Yeah, then. <laughs> but, Mr. T popping out. <laughs> <laughs> but back to this garbage. No, not this one. Back to this uh, The other one, yeah. Okay, so... What did we do? We did shitty knives. So this... Well, you one, did highlighters. To ten, yeah, we did. One to ten lampreys. How many lampreys would you give oh, this movie over here? Oh, God. This is going to be uh, interesting. It, I, I have my rating. I have my rating. <laughs> This is bad because now because they're side by side. My problem is I want to compare them because I gave oh. that one point five. Go ahead and compare them. Go this ahead. one had no nudity once again. They could have saved it like that one chick was really hot, mm-hmm. but um, that would have gave it an overloaded extra. CGI. This uh, it was better than the other one. Uh, wow, this is hard. I'm gonna say it will be a. Generous two. Oh, a generous two. Yeah. And again, I'm going to be lower than you, man, but I'm going to give it. It won't be negative this time, people. It will not be negative. I promise. And it'll be higher than a zero. It's going to be a one. Mm. Give it a one. Again, the premise was better. The story was better. And I'm not, I'm trying not to compare them, but I am just because we did them together. Yeah. That's what my problem was too. And like as shitty as this one was, they both let's, suck. let's just get this. This is this is. I'll say this is why I gave it two, because originally I gave that one a one because mm-hmm. I don't give halves and zeros. I would rather watch the other one twice than watch that other piece of garbage again. Oh yeah. So that there's your two. <laughs> but you know what? I would watch this again one once over this definitely, definitely, definitely. There's your one, and this one. You know what it is with this one? Why well, I gave it a negative six. I started with a point five, gave it a zero, then I get a six. It's again, we just kept talking about it. I just kept it made it worse. Yeah. More and more shit from the movie and shit that was just like, like with, with <laughs> I'll say with this, with like the, the boring dead scenes with this, they weren't as long as the boring dead scenes with this. Like I, oh, again, true. 20 minutes on a boat. No See reason. Him. No reason. You, matter of fact, that, that scene, the boat scene where they're skiing and falling in the water would have fit better with this movie. 
Then they get attacked by the lamprey. True. That would have fit so much. Not 20 minutes on a boat. Maybe 5, 10 minutes. Yeah. Five, 10 minutes scene. The one chick that's new gets on there. She's going. She falls into the water. She gets attacked by a lamprey. They pull her in the boat. They pull the lamprey off. Maybe there's one or two on her. They figure out that these lampreys are, are attacking people. And this can also be how where um, they find out that when they get attacked by a lamprey, that they turn into like a humanoid lamprey type of deal. Yeah. Boom. That's how I, they that could, works. They could have made it way better if they thought about and it. J- just with that alone, even if they didn't have the boat scene in this movie, even if they just had the people turning into the lampreys, because just because the cover, that's why I'm saying it. I'm saying it because of this cover right here. This fucking cover. That's why I'm saying it. Yep. This movie would have been at least a, just with that alone, even if they just had one person turning into it, one or two people turning into it and killing and all that, that alone would have made this movie at least a four for me. Just And then it would have to pick up from there, but that alone, because that would have been something cool. But they did not do it. They dropped the fucking ball just like they did. They mm-hmm. dropped everything with this one. This, they dropped the ball. And again, I gave it a one. It's something, neither one of them get the search 30 stamp of approval. I apologize, people. I wanted to give them that. Going into these movies, I wanted these movies to be entertaining. I wanted these movies to be fun. They just weren't. They were just like, again, it's one of those movies. If you were to watch these, again, if you were to watch these, put them on as a background noise type of thing. Make sure you're doing something else. It's like the type of movie you put on doing laundry. It's the type of movie you put on. I just don't fucking know. I really don't fucking know. <laughs> you're doing laundry. Like I said, you're playing cards, whatever the case may be, just something. If it's something, that, again, if it's movies that you feel like you need to see or want to see just because you're a horror fan like us, or you have a podcast yep. or whatever the case may be, like, you know, I feel like I should watch these movies again, watch them to watch them as you're doing something, playing a game, whatever the case may be. Or if you want, or if you have a show like, um, the shit slinky, maybe watch, which shout out to you, Slinky. Shout out to you, CK. Watch both of these movies, CK. And I want to hear your review on this because you <laughs> are not going to like this. The shit Slinky made me watch, special edition, Search 30. Watch these two because they were shitty as hell. I told him about the movies too, so I think he's going to do it. Wow. Because it's, 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 it's just, oh my gosh. And yeah. Like I said, it's probably not including the other movie. I don't even want to talk to about that name anymore. Probably the worst horror movies I've seen. Def- I'll, you know what? I'm going to do it like this. These two, I'm not going to even go in the past. These two are the worst horror movies I've seen I've seen this year. Oh, agreed. And I agreed. will say this. I'm going to try my best. Again, I'm going to try my best to compile a list of my top five or ten horror movies and the top five or ten shittiest horror movies at the end of the year. And just like mm. do, I'll do like a, a quick YouTube. I won't make it a podcast episode. I'll do like a YouTube video of it, and people can feel free to post their videos or whatever the case they want to do under the comments. But these two are making it. I don't <laughs> see eight movies. No, sorry, I don't see ten movies worse than these two movies that'll knock these two off the list. I really feel like this is going to be number one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's how. That, that's the list. This is gonna, this is going to be number one. I can see. Movies worse than this, possibly. I agree with that one too. Yeah, there, I'm sure there's shittier ones out there. But I don't know if it'll be knocked off the list. This this has a a teensy weensy chance of getting knocked off the list of. And this isn't horror movies that came out in 2020. This is just horror movies I watched in 2020. And I thought that Cat Brains one. Oh, did we watch that this year? It was. Or did we watch that last year? Mm, no, it was last year. <sighs> And I thought that was bad. I'd rather watch that again than that other one. Oh fuck yeah, fuck yeah. But yeah, yeah. I'm but gonna, this year, this year, these two, I'm with you. Top two worst ones I've seen this year. I might even do something right after this video. Just, just like anytime I watch a shitty horror movie, just add it to a thing. You know what I mean? Instead of writing shit down, add it to my. Oh yeah, you won't forget these. <laughs> I, 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 you're right. You're right. I'm not going to rewatch. Like, if anything, what I'll do to remind myself of these movies, read the descriptions of them. This goes for the whole shitty horror list movie thing. My 10. I might do 13 just because it's horror, but I like I, I like even numbers. You know what, people? That's not important. I'll discuss that with James when I'm done recording. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the movie we're going to be doing next is Rubber, and I'm hoping that Rubber does not make this shitty movie list. 
I'm gonna have to watch it again. I'm gonna watch it again just for you, just so I can get a recap. Cause I watched it like was it two years ago? When did I tell you about that? Was it like a year and a half ago? I don't know, cause me and you've been talking about this movie like on and off for a while. Like I, I forgot when I watched it. It's been it's a while. I know. It, I believe it's on Tubi. Even before this this pandemic, we were talking about it at work, yeah. and I was like, I'm gonna add. I think I added it to my Tubi list if it's on there. Actually, I think it's, that's the first movie I watched when you told me about Tubi. Really. I think so, because I was going through and I was checking shit. I'm about to check the list. I'm about to no, check I, no, I take that back. No, it was like the second movie, because the first movie I watched on Tubi was uh, Hell House LLC. How was that? It was it was okay. It's more of a paranormal. It's like they bought... They, they turned it into like a, hollow, uh, like a haunted house thing, but it's really... Well, yeah. it's fucked up, really. So, so yeah. it wasn't bad. It <laughs> It's better than niche garbage. <laughs> it's not hard to beat, though, man. It's not, it's not hard to beat. And, and the only thing, good thing about this, like the, the 2014 one with the chick right there at the mouth where it could have been better, if you want, you just look at the cover and you could do one with your friend, like which, yeah. if uh, you're drunk one night, would you let that give you a head? There you go. I mean, you know, got to gotta try to entertain yourself somehow with this garbage. Somehow with this, because this, yeah, they were just bad. It was just, again... <laughs> Negative six and a one. Ugh. What does that make it? Like a negative seven, technically? Is that how the math thing goes? No, it'll be a negative five because you've got a positive one taken away from the negative six. Got it. Well, there you go. Negative five overall. Yes. <laughs> I guess. These movies were bad. <laughs> yes, garbage. Yeah. It was bad. They were both bad. Um, like I said, watch at your own risk. Um. Shit, I guess that's it. I got nothing else to say about these two. Yeah, yeah, We're going to do rubber. rubber next, and I'm sure we'll find something else to do after Rubber. Didn't we just mention a movie? Shit. I got a list. I don't know. Rubber just came out. It wasn't part of my list because I watched it already, but we mentioned it the last podcast, maybe. You know what's funny? I just... um, Yeah, the other day... I'll talk to you after that, actually, when we're done recording. <laughs> so, everybody, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, you should just hit that subscribe button right now. Just boop, boop, hit it and hit the notification button because this is a very entertaining show and there's going to be a lot more entertaining than this coming out of it. Entertainment, entertainment, not entertaining this. That's a word, though. I just looked up <laughs> the search 30 dictionary. Entertain this is a word. But anyway, seriously, so thank you guys for listening to this, to this episode. If you're listening to it on the audio, thank you for watching the video, for watching the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or with Sir Sturdy, which, hey, I have, uh, I'm going to be saying this a lot now. I have a fucking URL now, the Horror with Sir Sturdy URL for YouTube. Awesome. That is fucking awesome. How do you get there? I'm going to tell you how. You just got to get 100 subscribers. And, hey, I mean, I got it finally. I'm happy as shit. And there's some more things in the background that's going on that I'll let you guys know about at a later date when it's about to be announced. But, yeah, so thanks for checking this out. All my thingies will be up here, though, across the top. So Facebook, Podbean, um, iTunes, Spotify, again, YouTube, and if, just anywhere you can listen to podcasts. And then I will have links. I have my links in the description, you know, the about on the YouTube thing. I, I'll have my links in the description. I have it's my Facebook, my YouTube, my Twitch, which I might add Twitch up here, too, if I can get it to fit right. My Facebook, my YouTube, my Twitch, everything right there. You just click the link and you go right to it and like it or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, thank you all for subscribing and checking this out. Uh, as always, I'll see you in your nightmares and fuck Blood Lake. Both of them.